Oh gosh, will you look at the time? It says here it's time for Russian bias. Don't know what that means. Yep, there it goes. Okay, now I understand. Hey people there, this is the Blue Revolution, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're looking at one of the most ridiculous biplanes there is in the game. This is the I-153M62, which is a Russian and also a now a Chinese biplane with a battery rating of 2.0 or 2.0, depending on which variant you're taking out in a realistic battle. Now there are three different versions of this aircraft in the Russian tech tree. There's the, the normal tech tree version which is, as you can see here is at the a long line of the i-15 so it's a little bit of grinding to get uh, this aircraft in at the normal tech tree there's also a two premium versions of this aircraft this one's pretty much an exact copy of the one uh, in the normal tech tree and uh, this one is armed with a uh, 20 millimeters instead of uh, the 7.62s which is what this uh, aircraft uh, normally carry now this um 7.62s on uh, this aircraft hit like an absolute truck. I don't know what it is about these uh, 7.62s in this aircraft, but this belt here with the tracer belts with the incendiary ammo absolutely hit so hard against uh, enemy aircraft. They're really, really good at setting fires and uh, sniping pilots. Some of the best are 7.62 millimeters uh, in the game. The maneuverability, as you also I would imagine is uh, absolutely incredible uh, on these aircraft because they are biplanes. So really agile, uh, been able to outperform a lot of uh, early monoplanes were to to this uh, battery rating. Now the P variant of the I-153 does away with the 7.62s and instead it's on with a 20 meter Shavak cannons with a uh, two of these with a uh, 300 rounds. So you do get a lot of the hard hitting uh, aircraft in theory, even though the 7.62s are uh, still here. Uh, like a truck but you do get bumped up in that battery rating by 0.7 uh, to 2.7 apart from that though the aircraft is pretty much identical uh, to the other two uh, with the stats at uh, top speed at turn rate climb rate etc so the pretty much the only difference between this one and the other ones with the 7.62s is that uh, 20 millimeter uh, cannon the place where these aircraft truly shine, I think, though, is actually in RK battles. And I know you're all thinking now, oh my god, RK battles, Rubles has completely lost her mind. What the fuck is she thinking? She's turned into a goddamn RK peasant. But just hear me out for a second. These aircraft are some of the best arcade planes in the game because in arcade it's not so much about the, the speed, it's not so much about the climb rate, it's mostly about turn rate and it's about firepower and these aircraft have this in abundance and these planes are some of the best when it comes uh, to being in RK battles. It does actually get a little bit of a drop in battery rating uh, to 1.7 in arcade. The P incidentally actually gets up tiered massively to a battery rating of 3.3 in arcade. It's kind of um, been out tiered uh, by this point and the performance is really going to struggle against some of those 3.3 uh, aircraft. However, having those 20 mils is still uh, really nice indeed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play a bit of a mix. I'm going to play one game in arcade using the normal tech tree um, aircraft. Then I'm going to play an arcade battle using all three to see how we get on. And then finally, I'm going to play the I-153P uh, in an air realistic battle at a battle rating of 2.7 to see how we get on with the 20 minute Shavax. I know we're just going to absolutely bias dominate today. It's going to be just nuts. It's going to be such a slaughter against all the other nations because these aircraft, I'm not going to lie, are so overpowered and biased and I just cannot wait to show how good these aircraft really are. So let's get going and we'll see how we get on. Okay, welcome to Lake Ladoga for our first game. I think we've been up tiered slightly, but it's absolutely fine in I-153. This aircraft is more than capable of just outperforming and matching um, any aircraft uh, at this uh, sort of battle rating. I've actually taken uh, rockets on this as well. Uh, this is our RS-82 rockets, which are really nice at taking on bombers. We able to get uh, a few rocket kills in the past with it, so 
we're going to be taking this out uh, with the rockets fitted uh, today. Okay, we've got a few bombers spotted already. Let's uh, try and climb up. This aircraft does have a really good climb rate for a biplane. Although this cloud is going to make things a little bit interesting trying to spot things. I think I'm just going to sit just below the cloud there. Yeah, there's a lot of aircraft down low. Not, not many people climb with their sort of battery rating. Yeah, they're all chasing after that door near, but... Three of them on that guy. Not sure what to go for first. The KR-43 is definitely the attempting target here. Uh, we got our HE-112 as well. And there's a BF-109. Okay, we're just going to stay up high for now. See what happens. See what we can dive on. I think the, the BF-109 is definitely a big threat. So we'll, we'll go and introduce ourselves to him. Stop sucking. Yep, and there's a fire. That didn't take long. Don't you steal my kill? I was gonna say. And there's a second aircraft down. I'm uh, so gonna dodge this guy. Yep. You cannot kill me. I have Russian bias on my side. Oh, I love the turn rate on this. And this guy's actually trying to turn fight with me. And there's another fire. <laughs> Just like that. I don't know what it is about these 20 mils. Uh, sorry, 7.62s. Okay. And the car 27 has just crashed as well. <laughs> well, that was intense, but... Three kills already. Like I said, this aircraft is just nuts. I haven't even fired the rockets off yet, either. Let's go and find us a bomber. I might rocket this guy if I can. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be able to chance to be able to rocket this guy. Here we go. Oh, it's got the P-36. Oh, I have a lot of enemy players on me now. Kill number four. But he used that extreme maneuverability now. This guy's actually turn fighting with me. There is no way, no way in hell he's going to outturn me here. Yeah, we've got this guy for sure. Gotta keep that turn going on. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, here we go, here we go. No, don't steal my kill. Don't you steal my kill. No! God damn you, I wanted my fifth kill. Never mind. There's still loads of enemy players left. Oh, God. Guess we go for this Dornier now. We've got 980 rounds left. Definitely enough to get two or maybe three kills, depending on how... Good arm with uh, the accuracy. Here we go. Let me stop the pilot here. Yep, got him. Uh, that's uh, kill number five now. And there's still four, three people left alive. Yep, there's a Dornier Z up somewhere. It's got to be over this way somewhere. There he is. There he is. Intercept him. Oh, 
I don't want to head on this guy. Actually, it looks like he's... Yeah, he's flying away from us here. He's taking a little bit of damage. Is he? No, he's coming head on. Okay. We need some maneuverability here. Oh, my engine's been damaged. No! Oh, well, I got the kill, and that's kill number six, but my engine's died. It was fun while it lasted. We still might lose this game, you know. Oh. No, sir, come on. No, no, no. Oh. What an amazing game. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I've actually sold my soul to the devil and we're groveling with the arcade peasants definitely going to be washing my hands and repenting my sins at the end of this game but it's going to highlight just how good this aircraft really can be in the capable hands let's get going Yep. Yep, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, so on this last one today, we're taking out the one with the, the 20 millimeters to see how it gets on. This one, like I said, does have the higher battery rating, so we're going to have to be using our maneuverability, which is definitely our trump card and our best asset on this type of game. If it turns into a bit of a skirmish, and we can force someone to a, a turn fight with us, then we're pretty much guaranteed to be able to get them down. Okay, we've got a, quite a few low flyers here. Gonna go introduce ourselves. The engine is actually overheating pretty quick on this. Which is surprising considering how massive that intake is in the front of this aircraft. Oh, there's actually a zero. The Battle of the Turn Fighters, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of tasty aircraft down here we could take on. Oh, it's turning into a melee. Oh, this is perfect for us. If it was just a little bit quicker, it would be perfect. I really want to take on the Zero first. He seems to be climbing away here. No, it's turning back in. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the Zero. Forcing to break off, yeah, it's turning. I think it's enough to put him down. 
Sit the fuck down. There we go. I have 42 rounds left, though. I did waste quite a lot of ammo on that guy. And we was just top of the team. In a biplane. I think I've got enough ammo for one more kill. There is two of these two guys up here. They're kind of too high at the moment. There's actually a guy on the airfield. But I'm not going to be able to get in. To, to shoot him down. Without the AA getting me. So we're going to wait for him to take off before we engage him. This Corsair is actually quite low now. Is he going to turn the fight with him? Or is he going to play smart? No, they're playing smart. Okay. We're turning away here. Unless they can bring him down low. There's not much I can really do here. There we go. There we go. I've got to be really disciplined here and just fight when I've got a chance. Oh, there's a BV-238. Oh, okay. This Corsair is going for a really steep climb here. No, he's flying off. I might dive on this KI. So low on ammo. I'm out of ammo. RTB it is. Okay, I've actually managed to land and rearm here. There is still four, sorry, three enemies up. And there's just me and this P-38. So this is going to be quite an interesting duel. That Corsair is still up. There's also a JU-87. And I think that KI is actually still up as well. So this is going to be pretty fun. Oh look, there's the KI-44. Okay. Well, he has all the height. Here he comes. I'm not sure where the course at at the moment. Yeah, he's diving on the P-38. Okay. No, he's changed his mind. So he's got to dodge and weave him, dodge and weave him. And eventually he's going to burn all of his height away. Yeah, if we can dodge him on this pass. Here we go. Got him now. Fortunately, the Corsair had to interrupt us. Go! 
Get him, play 38. Crit. Oh, he is definitely going down. Nice. 144 rounds left. Here he comes. Oh, no. He's bad enough. Engine's overheating massively. Need to tune that down in a second. I did waste a lot of rounds then. But we got him down. That's the most important thing. Okay, call off the engine. Call off the engine. Yep, he is running. Really good teamwork there. I don't know why the Corsair tried to turn fight with me. Hello. He's not the priority right now. The priority is definitely the KI. And again, we might be able to... No. Here he comes. All right. Always wanted a turn fight. Okay. Well, if you want a turn fight... We'll give him one. Let me just over towards the P-38. Got to keep dodging and weaving him, dodging and weaving him. If I can, I'm going to try and help out this P-38, though, because he looks like he's in problems. Yeah, he's definitely in a bit of a pickle down there. Come on. Engine's overheating. Okay, forcing this guy. No, he's turning away. Yeah, we're, we're going to try and help out the P-38. Nope, he's bailed off. Okay. This is a really interesting duel. It's like maneuverability versus speed and height. Yeah, he's turning back in. I don't know how many rounds this guy has left. I think I can get this guy quick. Yep, there he goes. Uh, dodged him. Oh, I love this plane so much. Where's he gone? Shit, might stall, might stall. Engine's overheating. Call her off for a second. Yep, he's running. Come back here, you. Nine minutes of fuel. Still loads. Still engine overheating. P-38 has landed again. Wow, this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a jewel and a half, this. Twelve seconds later. We suffered a defeat. Oh. Well, that sucks. These biplanes are absolutely ridiculous. They really, really are. And I hope I've shown today just how overpowered and how much bias they really do have with uh, the i 53 uh, incidentally, the P variant costs uh, 950 uh, Golden Eagles, and uh, the normal uh, premium version only costs 250 uh, Golden Eagles. So if you are planning uh, to do grind down uh, the Russian territory, or you are new to War Thunder and you want to grind Russian aircraft, 
I highly, highly recommend you get uh, the premium I-153. It is an absolutely amazing aircraft, and it's a really good starter aircraft as well. It's a really forgiving plane because it has really good uh, characteristics, has good speed, good maneuverability, and the guns are really good and they're forgiving if you're saying not so good with aiming if you are new to the game. And let me know in the comments below what you think of the I-153, if you ever agree with me, if it is the, the most biased, ridiculous Russian a biplane uh, in the, the game. Uh, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, one more thing before I go. I've also got Discord as well. Uh, the link for that will be in um, uh, the comments below. So if you want to join my Discord, we're Discord and uh, War Thunder, as, as well as other things, or get involved uh, when I'm doing squads uh, on Twitch or videos, etc. Uh, please join my Discord um, as well. Uh, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next one sometime soon. Bye!